What's going on YouTube? How are we all doing? Hope you've all had a lovely week. I just want to say massive, massive thank you. So much love and respect for my recent giveaway. The comments genuinely got me emotional, to be honest. I didn't realise how much this channel was impacting people. It kind of blew my mind a little bit. I was sort of sitting there and I was just like, whoa, you know, reaching different people all around the world. So many amazing messages, so many amazing stories. It's truly incredible that the content I'm dropping is helping all of you and I want to continue to deliver that and if anything doing the giveaway has really made me realize how impactful this channel is and yo I'm just going to keep rolling and keep delivering every week best I can and hopefully continue to bring you loads of value if you haven't checked the giveaway out um, I will drop a little thing here somewhere and you can obviously go check that out it's completely free there's no clickbait at all um, I just wanted to give back and say thank you for everyone that's subscribed and supported. So anyway, enough of that. Today's video, essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go over how you set up a trade copier and how I use it. The one that I use, um, I've been using it for eight months or so now. Uh, never had a problem, so I figured, it's a question I get asked a lot, you know, how do you trade, how do you take the same trade on multiple accounts at once? What do you do? How do you set it up? Um, looked around, there's a few videos similar, no doubt about that, I'm not claiming to be the first to do it. I just figured I'll go a little bit more in depth and we'll just sort of start to finish, set one up, and then hopefully it gives you guys a clearer understanding of how to set one up for yourself. Um, as always, nothing that I'm doing is financial advice, simply just my views and my understandings that I'm giving out. So yeah, we'll get into it. Um, just wanna say, you know, as I continue to grow the channel, I'm gonna continue to try and give back and give more out. Uh, I'm really starting to try and focus on leveling up the the channel. I'm taking a video editing course, um, lighting courses, like everything. Just trying to really get to that next level because I understand for you as the viewer it's important and I wanna give you the best I can. And also, to be honest, I'm really enjoying it. Like Although editing takes a while um, and all the things I'm trying to learn, all B-roll and all the other stuff to try and make things more engaged. Um, so yeah, over the coming weeks and months, it'd be nice to look back and see from the first video to this video where we've got. Uh, if I can just ask you all please to like, subscribe and share, you know, it means the world to me and it really helps the channel continue to grow which helps me continue to deliver you guys valuable content. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna stop waffling your head off. Let's get into it. <coughs> Hang on a minute. We need to do the slipper flip. We haven't done it in a while, have we? Right, I haven't got my slippers. I'm gonna go get them, I'm gonna come back gonna flip the thing, gonna catch it, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a cheeky little trade copier thing. Peace. What's going on everyone? So, I'm gonna take you straight into it. Um, just gonna show you, you know, what it's all about, how you set it up from scratch. Um, again, this is not a sponsored video. This is not an affiliation link in any way, shape or form. Some of you said I should get affiliation links. I'll be honest with you, I probably should, but at the same time, I just use it and I pay, I pay my way for it. I just, it's just easier. Um, dropping links and getting anyone to click it, probably long-winded, but hey, maybe I'll look into it. Maybe I'm doing myself out of, out of something, but yeah. So here it is, Social Trader Tools is the one that I use. Many of you may already know about it. Great, I just wanna show you how I set it up, how I would use it. I use the settings a little bit different on my personal to my FTMOs, different stop sizes, and you can customize all that stuff. So obviously if you don't have an account, um, you can literally click register here, and obviously it comes up like that, bosh, you just do all your stuff, right? Very simple, very straightforward. If you've got an account, go here, log in, boom. Right, so we're logged in, okay? Now, when you first log in, you're not gonna have this. So we've got the Granny Smasher account, we've got the IC Markets demo account, right? I've literally made two brand new accounts for this video, they're both demos, so if anyone sees the login and thinks, oh, it's pointless, it's a demo, crack on, mate, do what you've got to do. Um, but yeah, so basically, right, As you, when you start, 
you want to go up here, you want to go bill in. Obviously, at the moment, my subscription, I've got two accounts. I've got my FTMO and I've got my personal, right? Um, if you want more from that, if you want more accounts, if you click manage, you can see how many you can have. It shows you the price. You can have five accounts, 10 accounts, 20 accounts, 40 accounts, six, you name it. However many accounts you want, you can have. All the way up to 1,300 accounts. Obviously, that costs a fair amount of dollar, but at the end of the day, if you're that's a bit of you, mate, then do your thing in it. So you'd pick one of these subscriptions. I recommend just starting out with a simple two accounts is, you know, to begin with it's fine. Obviously if you wanna like link maybe a smaller demo, a personal, a funded account or a challenge or whatever, then maybe get the plus five. Um, it's up to you, right? So once you've done that, right, if you go to dashboard, you're gonna see here it says accounts, and obviously these are my two accounts. If you don't have accounts, you can go configurator accounts, and click add account right when you click add account it's going to come up with oh because i can't host anymore um so it will tell you to upgrade your plan if you click add account it's just going to come up it's going to want your mt4 login details your broker's details and you can name the account i named this one oh, i've lost my mouse come back it's gone on my other screen i named this one you've got granny smasher you got ic markets demo you can name it whatever you want right to set the copier up configurator trade copier and then here you'll see it says no copiers have been set up. Create copier, right? Super simple. So this is this is the important part, right? So when you're setting this up, you want to make sure that the copy from account is your master account. So that's the account that you'll have on your trader system or on your phone or however you execute. That's the account that whatever you do on that account, it will do on the other account. So you need to make sure you've got them the right way around. So here you would have copy from the Granny Smasher account, send it to the IC Markets demo account. Risk multiplier by balance. A lot of people ask, um, does it work out lot sizes? Yes, this does. They do have an information tab somewhere if you want to really read into it. But I just recommend using risk multiplier. I wouldn't use equity because obviously that's when you, if you're in a floating trade and whatnot, can get a little bit ropey. You've got lot multiplier and you've got fixed lot. So I want to run through these. So if you're happy to risk, so this would be your risk. So let's say, let's say for example, you're on your personal and you want to copy to an FTMO challenge, for instance, right? You want to do half risk, so you do 0.5, right? Copy existing trades, no, you don't want it to copy anything that's already done. You'd click, I've read T's and C's, create copier, right? That's the copier created, it makes the link. Here, it's really important where it says copier mode, when you hover over that, this has to be on. If it's not on, there's no copying going down, right? Then you'll be in trouble, okay? Then you can go to the configuration, you can go to the risk settings, and you can change things if you want. So you've got the option to reverse your trade. So if your trades are really bad and you keep taking hits, reverse them, man, hit it up. No, I'm joking, don't do that. Um, obviously, again, risk multiplier by balance, right? Um, multiplier, again, 0.5 risk. You can put it at one, you can put it at 0.25, whatever you want. Slippage, to be honest, I've never really played around with that. I've just left it as five. I've never had an issue. Maximum lot, I always just change to like 150 or something, just in case, whatever. I don't have force minimum lot. You can click update, right? Make sure you click update on this one before going to any of these. Otherwise, these, save, these settings won't save. Then you go to stops and limits, right? And now this is important. If you're someone that uses pending orders, you need to turn that on. Otherwise, it won't copy a limit. So if you place a limit on your master, it won't copy over to your other accounts. So you need to turn that on if you place limits. If you just mark it execute, it will copy. But then, this is the other important part. You need to make sure it copies your stop loss. If you do not do copy stop loss, you're in trouble because you're entering trades without stop losses. And you also need to ensure if you're someone that takes partials, you also copy your take profits. And that's where the EA will take, um, it will take, say for instance, one to four is where you take your profit at like um, break even. I couldn't get my words out then. If that's where you do it, then you wanna make sure you've got this on, otherwise it won't take any profits. And you're just gonna be like, why is my trade not gone BE or blah, 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 right? And then again, click update. So now everything's synced so that whatever you do on that master account, it will do on this account exactly how you want it, right? Now, some people were messaging me about what do you do if you don't wanna risk, uh, if you wanna risk, say for instance, uh, current conditions on EU are a little bit, stops are a little bit bigger, but if you, someone that risks, uh, uses a one pip stop loss on your personal, but you don't wanna do that on your FTMI, what do you do? So again, very simple. So you go to risk settings, and you've got risk multiplier by balance, right? And that's obviously what it's doing for the, the copied account. If you change that, you've got two choices here. 
you can either not compound that FTMO account and you can just do a fixed lot. So if you know that half risk is, I don't know, 140K FTMO with that kind of stop, it's probably about 60 lots off the top of my head. Um, you can say, right, what this means is it will always execute that FTMO account with 60 lots, but your original account will execute with whatever is on your EA or your trade assistant or on your phone. But rather than copy over and do it by balance, it will do a fixed lot, okay? That's, if you wanna do that. Personally, I quite like the fixed lot. I'm not, as a lot of you know, I don't really compound my FTMO, I kinda of just withdraw it. So I just go standard lot, bang, why I know the 60 lot things like a thing. Um, and then I'm like, cool, I just withdraw it. If, if you don't wanna do that, by all means, you can just leave it on risk multiplier by balance and you can just go 0 0.5 and then that's half risk and chilling, right? Now, if you wanna go copy stop loss, right? That will copy the exact stop loss that is executed on your master account. So what you have to remember, if your market executing, sometimes you might get filled in a little bit of a bad position and when it copies, sometimes the stop can be a little bit bigger in the sense if you got filled, I'm gonna do it with my hands, you got filled here instead of there, so your stop loss will be like here, but sometimes if it goes down and pulls away when you market execute, your stop loss might be there, it might be a little bit different to what you see on your personal. And bearing in mind with spreads on the FTMO, you kind of got to account 0.3 on EU, so if you've got a one pip stop, you've really got 0.7 room, so it's just not worth getting tagged out for the sake of you know, a couple of ticks. For me personally, I just roll with 1.5. So again, all I do is fixed. So copy stop loss fixed, and I just do 1.5. So no matter what, that means when it puts the trade on for me on the FTMO, um, it will always have a 1.5 pip stop, and the personal will be whatever I set it up as. Um, to be honest, that's kind of it. Like there, there's not much more to this than that. That they're, they're the basics that I would focus on make sure you click update other than that I wouldn't really be worried about playing with anything else obviously you've got like symbols you can turn off different trading pairs if you want you've got flipping map symbols which I've not really messed around with um, one thing I would say is go to email alerts make sure you turn all these off you don't have to by all means but what it will do is it will send you an email every time a trade is executed every time it's taken partials every time it's closed every time it's stop loss it gets a little bit much if you've got a couple of accounts on the go I used to have it where I had five accounts and I used to have like multiple and it would just ding, 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 and it was just weren't ideal in it. So for me, I turned them off, um, but you could maybe set an alert up. Like I said, all you've just got to do is click add alert, and then you can select what account you want the alert on, and then it can tell you trade was open, stop last, closed, not executed. Sometimes not executed is handy because um, you don't want to always have to log into the other account to see if it's on. So not executed it will just go, oh, it didn't execute on your FTMO for instance, you're not in the trade and you can be aware of that. But I have had a few moments where it said not executed and I checked and I was in. So again, I just turned it off. Um, again, completely up to you how you do it. And then if you go back to the dashboard and you go over here, the good thing with this as well, it does have quite a cool little um, statistics. So it will show you like your balance, your equity, your win rate, your lots that you use, your commissions, your swaps, best trades, worst trades, it gives you a little graph. Pretty cool, pretty handy. Um, it's another thing that's thrown in if you want to track some of your data um, and perhaps you want to do it this way rather than a MyFX book or rather than a Notion or rather than an Edgewonk or whatever else you use. This is a really easy way to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Obviously, it doesn't give you too much information. Um, it's where Edgewonk kind of is a bit further above. But nonetheless, this is automatic, whereas Edgewonk, you have to kind of put it all in. You can just pull your um, trade data from MT4, whereas this will just automatically update with how you trade. Um, so yeah, like, you know, that's pretty much it. I know there's probably people that have done these before, but you won't understand how many people ask me these questions over and over again. And I just figured, why not just bang a video out? These tutorial videos seem to do really well for you guys. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a very simple thing to make. So hopefully that added some value. Um, if it didn't, my bad, but someone will find value from it, as I've gathered that even though sometimes the views might not be as crazy as I would like them to be, I'm also aware that there's many people taking value from what I post, and that's what it's all about, and it's why I started the channel. So yeah, um, I quite like this little pink thing as well. I know a lot of you said you couldn't see my cursor, so man invested, five pound that cost me. Um, better appreciate that. 
but yeah, so that that's literally it. Like I said, there's other things on here, followers and providers and all sorts, but I'll be honest with you, you just want a copier that just does its thing, and I, I've never had a problem, I've never like, it's never copied and it's been delayed and I've got like a 90 pip stop, or obviously if you're market executing on the five seconds, there might be a little variance by a tick or two, but it's pretty quick, and even when you have multiple accounts, it's, it's fast as anything. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it, guys. I just thought I'd do this. I hope you all have an incredible week coming up. If you could all please, if you haven't, if you could check out my recent video, which is a giveaway, there's free dough for just clicking like and a comment. I'd appreciate it. I understand some of you messaged me saying you didn't want to get involved because you felt like other people could deserve it or you were new to the channel. I rate that, so big ups to you. Let's have a great week. Um, coming up to the end of Q1 now, which is mad when you think about it. Um, I know we've got a couple of weeks left, but we're pretty much end of Q1, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, just keep killing it. Anything you haven't achieved in Q1, ask yourself why. Don't be too harsh on yourself and put too much pressure on yourself because at the end of the day, there's plenty of the year left. And yeah, keep killing it, guys. Peace and love. Catch you in a bit.